Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're introducing the straight line equation. Um, I say introducing, but you probably have seen this quite a few times already. Um, now I guess in year 7, 8, 9 and 10, you would have been used to seeing this little formula. Uh, y equals mx plus b. It's certainly not a new one that you would have seen. Okay, we hopefully remember what the m is. The m represents the gradient and the b that represents the y-intercept. Now, I'll be going through this graphically in a moment using Desmos to show you the difference between the M's and the B's, um, but I want to sort of introduce a slightly varied uh, formula that we use here at IB Studies, and that's the formula of y equals mx plus c. So this is the one that you will be using for IB Studies. Okay, very important to uh, recognize that. Now, certainly some of you in uh, different countries already use plus C. Certainly when I taught in the UK, that's what we taught, the plus C. Um, it means exactly the same thing as the B, okay? It is the constant term. It's a term that when you want to sub into a value for X, for example, this number can never change because obviously it doesn't have an X there. Um, Look, I kind of want to just use a little bit because it's not going to be a very long lesson today, but I want to just have a quick look at Desmos just to have a quick look at some graphs such as uh, y equals x. Uh, yeah, y equals x is a nice easy one. So let's just have a look what happens when I put numbers in front of that x. So let's say I say y equals 4x. Uh, we might look at y equals 10x. Okay, what happens if I do y equals a half x? You can see that the line is going to get smaller. Um, what if I do y equals uh, 0.1x, so a tenth x? Okay, you can see those ranges. What happens if I put a negative? Can you remember what happens in that particular case? Well, hopefully you remember that it goes the opposite way. Okay, now you'll also uh, probably recognize that every single one of these coordinates goes through the point of origin. Do you remember why though? Hopefully you said because the plus C or the plus B is zero in all of these cases. If I, for example, go to the Y equals X, the orange line, and I put plus three, look what happens. I've now moved that up to the Y intercept of three. Okay, uh, what if I go to the Y equals four X and I say minus one? It goes down one. The whole graph just shifts down one number, okay? But it has a y-intercept of negative one. If I do um, plus one for the 10x, okay, now you can kind of see what's going on here. So again, by using that, that sort of graphical means, you can see what happens when I have that gradient. When it goes big and small, the line goes steeper and less steep. Um, if I put a plus number on there for the y-intercept, it goes up or it goes down. Uh, and, and that can be very useful for us. So we come back to that formula y equals mx plus c and this word the gradient, which in the next lesson we'll be learning how to find the gradient. But remember the gradient refers to the steepness of a line. Okay, um, Might be a better word to use, and we use this quite fluently, rate of change. It's the rate of change between the variables x and y. Okay, and again, you might remember that whole rise over run business and the other formulas that we'll be using. Um, and simply that plus C, that constant number, shifts that graph up and down, depending how many points it's going to be. But we know that that refers to the point where it cuts that Y intercept. Okay, um, again, look, very brief uh, lesson, guys. Remember, y equals mx plus c. This is the version that we are using in IB mathematical studies. Next lesson, we'll look into greater detail about how to find the gradient of a particular straight line. Have a great day, folks.